Hello students, let's continue with polynomials. In our previous class, we were looking at exercise 2.5, wherein we solved the first three sub-questions of question 4. So now let, we will be looking at questions 4, 5 and 6, that is sub-questions 4, 5 and 6 of our question number 7. We have to do the same thing, expand the following using suitable identities, right? So here we have given expressions and we have to expand it using our algebraic identities. Let's take a look at the first question, which is... Uh, sorry, the fourth question, which is 3a minus 7b minus c the whole square. We have three terms, okay, and we have to square it. This is similar to our identity number 5. However, we have positive signs in between. So, we need to first convert this into this format, right? So, let's convert it. We can write 3a plus minus 7b can be written as plus of minus 7b and minus c can be written as plus of minus c the whole square right so let's use our identity number five to solve this so using x plus y plus z the whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx okay let's compare what is the value of x y and z my x is 3a y is minus 7b and z is minus c right now we're going to substitute these values into our question uh, into this expression and find the solution for our answer for a question so therefore we have 3a plus of minus 7b plus of minus c the whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square will be 3a square 3a the whole square plus minus 7b the whole square plus minus c the whole square so let me write this 3a the whole square plus minus 7b the whole square plus minus c the whole square then we have 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx so we will write this substituting the values of xyz as 3a minus 7b and minus c so xy will be 2 into 3a into minus 7b right then 2yz will be 2 into minus 7b into minus c right and finally 2zx will be minus 2 into minus c into 3a so please take a look at how i have written the terms we will go ahead and further expand this so 3a square can be written as 9a square plus minus 7b the whole square will be 49b square plus minus c the whole square will be c square right now 2 into 3 is a 6 6 into minus 7 gives me minus 42 a b similarly 2 into minus 7 is going to give me minus 14 so minus 14 b into minus c will give me plus 14 c 14 b c right again we have 2 into 3 2 3 is a 6 okay and minus c so minus 6 c a right so i'm going to write my sum 3a plus 3a plus into minus minus 7b plus this is now plus into minus so minus c the whole square okay let's go ahead with question number five sorry sub question five of question four So my question, sub question 4 is minus 2x plus 5y 
minus 3z the whole square. This is again similar to our previous uh, sub questions that we have solved earlier question 1 to 4 okay wherein I have three terms and I have to square it up but we need to rewrite it to resemble our identity number 5 correct. So this can be rewritten as minus 2x plus 5y plus of minus 3z the whole square or let me just write it into round brackets okay so let's use identity number 5 using now our identity is given in the form of x y and z plus our question is in the form of x y and z so I'm going to replace x x y and z with a b and c a plus b plus c the whole square is equal to a square plus 2 a b a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a b plus 2 b c plus 2 c a right so therefore comparing this a plus b plus c the whole square with this question let us rewrite the values of a b and c so my a is equal to minus 2 x b is equal to 5 y and c is equal to minus 3 z right now let us go ahead and expand it so minus 2 x plus 5 y plus minus of 3 z the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square is nothing but minus 2 x the whole square plus uh, plus 5 y the whole square and minus 3 z the whole square so I am going to write it down minus 2 x the whole square plus 5 y the whole square plus minus 3 z the whole square then we have 2 a b so 2 into minus 2 x into 5y right so 2 into minus 2x into 5y plus 2bc so b is 5 and c is minus 3z so 2 into 5y into minus 3z finally 2ca so 2 c is minus 3z and a is minus 2x let us go ahead and expand this what do we get 2x minus 2x the whole square is 4x square plus 5y square is 5y the whole square is 25y square plus minus 3z the whole square is 9z square right plus now 2 twos are 4 minus so minus 4x into 5y so uh, this would be 5 fours are 20 so minus 20 xy right plus you have 2 fives are 10 10 into minus 3 is minus 30 so minus 30 yz right plus 2 into minus 3 minus 6 minus 6 into minus 2 is plus 12 so plus 12 zx we will go ahead and open the brackets this is equal to 4x square plus 25y square plus 9z square plus into minus is minus so minus 20xy again plus into minus is minus so minus 30yz plus 12zx right we will write the answer by opening these brackets as well so you get minus 2x plus 5y minus 3z the whole square which is equal to 4x square plus 25y square plus 9z square minus 20xy minus 30yz plus 12zx okay let us take a look at the sixth question of uh, sub question 6 of question 4 
So let's take a look at question number 6 which is 1 upon 4a minus 1 upon 2b plus 1 the whole square. Again this is similar to our identity number 5 a, uh, x plus y plus z the whole square but we need to rewrite this in the format of x plus y plus z the whole square. Okay? So this can be written as 1 upon 4a where 1 upon 4 is x then plus minus 1 upon 2b plus 1 the whole square right so using our identity number 5 that is using x plus y plus z the whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx what do we get the values of x, y and z comparing? x is equal to 1 upon 4a, y is equal to minus 1 upon 2b and z is equal to 1. Right? Let's go ahead and expand it. So I get 1 upon 4a plus minus 1 upon 2b plus 1 the whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square which is nothing but 1 upon 4a the, the whole square plus minus 1 upon 2b the whole square plus 1 square right so I have written X, y, x square plus y square plus z square in the form of our terms. Now let us write for 2xy, 2yz and 2zx plus 2 into x, x is 1 upon 4a and y is minus 1 upon 2b. Right? So 2xy, let us write for 2yz, 2yz which is 2 into minus 1 upon 2b into 1 and finally 2zx so this is 2 into 1 into 1 upon 4a right we will go ahead and expand this this is equal to 1 upon 4a the whole square is 1 upon 16a square plus minus 1 upon 2b the whole square is 1 upon 4 b square and 1, 1 square is 1 so I will write it as 1, then you have, now check this over here, this is 2 and this is 2, so 2 and 2 are going to cancel out, right, so I am left with 1 upon 4a into minus b which is equal to minus ab upon 4 right similarly 2 and 2 will cancel out here so i have plus and minus b upon so it's just minus b right finally we have 2 1s are 2 and 2 2s are 4 so i'm left with a upon 2 right let's go ahead and expand this further so this is equal to one upon uh, a square upon sixteen plus b square upon four plus one. Then plus into minus is going to give me minus. So minus a b upon four plus into minus gives me a minus. So minus b and finally plus a upon two. Right? Let's rewrite the question and answer in the question answer format. So finally I have 1 upon 4a minus 1 upon 2b plus 1 the whole square which is equal to a square plus 16 plus b square plus 4 plus 1 minus ab upon 4 minus b plus a upon 2. 
so we have completed question number four of exercise 2.5 let's continue with the fifth question and the uh, subsequent questions in the next class thank you hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies so what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.